So this patient came in with respiratory distress. Uh, when she came in, she had difficulty breathing. So right away, the doctor evaluated the patient. We started her on oxygen, uh, and vital signs. Oxygen saturation was a little bit low when she started the oxygen, the oxygen came up. We did chest x-ray, the doctor wanted to insert a Foley, she was in disagreement. So we compromised, um, gave her medication, we gave her medication, her vital signs improved, oxygenation got better, and she did well. Well, so some of the, um, the, the details of the case were pretty challenging from a, a, a team-based perspective. Uh, the patient herself was very anxious. Uh, shortly after she arrived, uh, the patient's mother arrived, uh, if anything, even more anxious. Um, and the two patients were sort of feeding off of each other. And so the team needed to sort of figure out a divide and conquer uh, approach in which both of their anxieties could be uh, sort of calmed down. And then uh, the mother could be brought back to the bedside to act um, as a a calming influence on the patient while we took care of her. Um, the exact nature of her uh, shortness of breath was not, uh, or the exact cause of it wasn't entirely clear to us. Um, there were elements of it that seemed like an asthma attack, elements um, particularly suggested by her history that sounded like maybe she was in congestive heart failure. There was also the question of whether she was uh, having a pulmonary embolus. Um, all these things were sort of having to be uh, sorted out. The patient herself wasn't entirely uh, clear in uh, in her responses. Um, in, in the beginning, uh, it was kind of a challenge to figure out whether this was an altered mental status or this was her baseline. Um, it got easier once uh, the team sort of uh, was successful in getting uh, both the patient and her mother's uh, anxiety under control. And um, you know, the treatments uh, uh, at the by the time the, the, the scenario ended, um, we really were still at, uh, having to cover several different possible causes. Um, and uh, I, I don't know how you felt about it, but it really, uh, I think, required uh, a team effort in order to get her uh, yeah. uh, stabilized into a better place. Certainly did. But we were able to meet the challenge and everyone was satisfied. The outcome turned out to be very good. So this is a very short um, class, of course. Just a few hours, two hours, we learned a lot. So I, have a, I wish we have more opportunity to have this kind of class to refresh our mind. Uh, our, we have a specific goals. This, uh, my patient is a um, human, and also same time, we want our goal is like come up good outcome that I learned a lot today. The medical team training program uh, turned out to be an exceptional tool to help us see the different ways that people approach problems and they look at a similar clinical scenario. We were able to sit for a full day and understand other people's roles and other people's visions in it. So when in a real situation we should have the tools that will help us get help when we need help as the physicians and as the nurses and for other people who are in the room to help us identify when we're almost going to make an error. I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about uh, the team and I thought that this was a wonderful opportunity to take a very skilled group to the next level of quality of care. We're so fortunate that we were able to all come together, the entire emergency department, from housekeeper to healthcare tech, to secretary, to nurse, to physician, and have the opportunity to participate in a whole day's training where we worked on helping each other, supporting each other, working better together as a team. We showed each other today that we really care to make our work environment a better place for our patients and for each other. We had the opportunity today to um, express things that we hadn't been able to express before and to really practice together in some really difficult environments taking care of some critical patients, patients that we really take care of every day.
but we rarely have the time or the opportunity to step back and appreciate each other, to thank each other, to explore some areas where maybe we could get even better at taking care of our patients and each other. And we're really appreciative to the National Center for Patient Safety for coming out and helping us have such a special day. My colleagues and I are part of a medical team training team from the VA National Center for Patient Safety. And we were invited by New York Harbor Healthcare System, specifically Dr. Lisa Nasera, to come out and provide two days of teamwork and communication training using high fidelity simulators. It was a great opportunity to, co to collaborate um, with this highly skilled team. And as the medical team training group, we travel around the country to VA facilities to conduct these types of training.